We're the largest snacking company in the world. Is that everyone in the business is a leader and have a role to play. So it just naturally made sense that, you know, my career would progress. And I wish someone had told me when I was in high school that that was an option. It's all about maintaining relationships and... We have such a wide array of academic backgrounds and the SEEK has a strong network of women here to help you. Today we are joined by Daniel Pavetta, who is an officer cadet for the Air Force. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So what was your inspiration um, in the first place to be studying at the Australian Defence Force Academy? How did you come about? Yeah, throughout high school, I always had an interest in engineering. Uh, so I was looking around for what the best option for engineering was, and I've also always enjoyed my leadership opportunities. So. Being able to combine those two at ADFA, doing leadership training and military training alongside my engineering degree was really cool. Yeah. Awesome. And what's been your fondest memory so far at the Australian Defence Force Academy? I think a lot of my fondest memories are based around the camaraderie that we have here. So my group of electrical engineers that I go to class with every day, we're really tight. So we've played a social sport together each year. So uh, those games of netball or volleyball that we've played together uh, as a break during the week have just been so good and it's uh, really speaks to adverse culture. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So have, has something um, sort of pleasantly surprised you um, during your time at the Australian Defence Force Academy? Yeah, I think people, uh, so Australian Defence Force Academy takes in people from all over Australia and even the world. We have international cadets as well. And it's awesome how well everyone meshes together. I think everyone's come from different strains of life, had different experiences, and we all just come together and uh, yeah, get to know each other and hang out. And it's great to be able to learn from them. Uh, so you get some really good experiences hearing from others uh, what they've done. And it's also just, yeah, hanging out with new people, which is really cool. Yeah. So you're obviously in your room um, on campus. How's, how's campus life? Yeah, uh, campus life is great. Uh, it's living, living with your mates, uh, being able to study in here. Uh, and it's, it's nice being so close. The, you know, the commute is a five-minute yeah. walk over that way. So exactly. I was just over there this morning, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And how do you think you've grown personally from the experience? Yeah, I definitely feel like for me, uh, independence was a huge thing, obviously. So I came straight from high school to ADFA. Uh, so I'd been living at home and then all of a sudden I'm here. And I think ADFA is a great introduction to independence because you can still have your meals cooked for you at the mess. Uh, and it's just sort of slow introduction to, yeah, living, uh, I guess, away <laughs> from home. Yeah. But you're still living with mates. You've got people around you uh, and that's yeah. been great. Yeah. Oh, it sounds win-win to me. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> And um, so what sort of subjects did you need to get into your degree? So at high school, um, yeah, what did you sort of have to study to get into what you're doing now? Yeah, so at high school, I did uh, physics, chemistry and not the highest level maths. Uh, so I would recommend doing subjects like, uh, particularly for me, physics uh, as an electrical engineer. And I would also recommend doing high level maths. I didn't, uh, but it ADFA provides lots of avenues for those who haven't done as high level. There's uh, extra classes and support classes so that you can catch up to your mates. So in first year, there was a lot of extra work I had to do to catch up, but it is doable. So no matter what subjects you've done, if you've got an interest and you're driven, you'll be all right. Yeah, cool. And then on sort of um, the military side of things, what sort of military training have you had um, so far? Yeah, so, so far uh, we have military training each day so that's mostly physical training leadership training military history those sort of things yeah but alongside that we've also had leadership challenges where we uh, go out in the bush for a few days and uh, do some yeah hard hard yards yeah and we've also had some single service training uh, with the air force so I've uh, been to Williamtown and I spent a month there working uh, in air traffic control which was great cool. and also out to Wagga where we just do some uh, yeah, basic weapons training and things like that Sounds like so much fun. And it also sounds perfect for people who love to keep fit too, because that's all part of the job, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've found it really uh, useful because sometimes the week can get really hectic and I know uh, it's great to have scheduled PT. Uh, there's yeah. a fantastic gym on campus as well that's open at all hours. So you can go before, you, uh, before roll call in the morning or you can go in the evening and you have it at least two or three times a week. You have scheduled sessions with the personal training instructors. 
Yeah, cool. So on that, what is your sort of um, schedule like? Like a, a typical day for you, you just mentioned roll call. What's all that about? <laughs> yeah, so each day roll calls at 7am. So we go down uh, to the bottom of our building and all just do a roll call together. And then you have about an hour to get ready for the day. So you can go to the mess and have breakfast, get your uniform on, get your room in uh, tip top shape and get ready for the day. Uh, then from 8am to 10am, we have military training. So that's where you might do that physical training that I was talking about or military history or other military subjects. Uh, so that we call that JMET here. And then from 10 onwards uh, is uni. Obviously for everyone with their different subjects, it's a different schedule. But throughout the day, you have time to study, uh, to go and have lunch and to uh, just do your degree. And then in the evenings, there's opportunities for extracurriculars like sports and clubs. Yeah, cool. So what sort of extracurriculars do you do? Yeah, I uh, love getting involved in lots of stuff. Uh, so as I said before, with my uh, electrical engineering team, we've done uh, volleyball and netball, uh, which is through clubs here. I'm also part of the water polo team. Uh, and there's also uh, social clubs. So I'm producing the musical this year as part of the uh, oh, musical, awesome. which is awesome. And I'm also part of the Christian group Focus, uh, which is a great way to yeah, bond with others. That's awesome. You like you would never expect that all of these opportunities were available. Like, did you know about all of this when you were at high school, or is this something that you sort of learned about while you've been now? Yeah, well, I definitely I came along to the open day, and that really opened my eyes to what uh, ADV offers. You wouldn't think that you know military academy. You wouldn't think we have a musical, but we, yeah, <laughs> we all get around it. And there's so many different things. There's things like uh, the drone vec, where they uh, fly drones around. There's Literally nearly everything you can think of, uh, there's an interest group for, yeah. Yeah, great. And so what did your family think about your career choice? Were they worried that you were going off to the Air Force or were they supportive or what were their initial thoughts? Yeah, when I first told my mum, uh, she was a bit surprised, I think. Uh, but I, over my time here, I'm in my third year now and they've definitely uh, adjusted to how it is. I get to come home uh, quite often, so Adva pays for you to... Uh, go and see your family during the year, which is a fantastic opportunity. So get to go home and see them at least a few times a year and uh, also you know, try and call every week uh, when I can. Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so what advice would you give to students out there who might be considering studying, studying at the Australian Defence Force Academy? Definitely look into it. Like there's no harm in going to a U session to apply uh, for ADFA and just see what your opportunities are that are available to you. There's, yeah, just look into what's available and uh, how you get around it. If you really enjoy your leadership, fitness, uh, and you're keen to study a degree and get paid to do that degree, it's a fantastic opportunity. So I'd recommend it for a lot of people. That's the other thing, you're getting paid too. Yeah. <laughs> this, sounds, this sounds too good to be true. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's pretty great. Yeah. Um, so what would you say the benefit of doing your um, electrical engineering degree through um, the Defence Force Academy as opposed to a normal university? What yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. So obviously uh, we've got that advantage that uh, you get paid doing your degree. And also with that, you, uh, electrical engineering is quite a challenging degree. So it's great to be able to focus your efforts on that and not have to worry about having an income on the side of that. So obviously there's time taken up by military training as well. Uh, but also, uh, yeah, that point I mentioned before, living with your mates. So being able to live with the people I study with, uh, we can, you know, if I'm doing work late at night, I can run over to their place and knock on the door. How do I do this question? You know, get it sorted. Yeah. And also the opportunities that are available. So doing work experience in the Defence Force, having a guaranteed job after leaving uni, uh, it's a pretty awesome opportunity, yeah. It really is, isn't it? Because that is one thing that um, you have to sort of take into consideration when you study at university, You're not always guaranteed a job afterwards. So, you know, this is a fantastic opportunity. Um, where do you think that you will take your career from here? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to once I uh, leave ADFA. So I've got one more year left of my degree after this year. And then uh, we'll go off and do some more military training. So officer training. And I could be sent anywhere around Australia, which is a really exciting possibility. I'm looking to possibly get into cyber security and cyber warfare yeah. uh, within the Defence Force. So, yeah, that's definitely the future for me right now is just uh, getting into doing electrical engineering in the wider Defence Force. Yeah, awesome. And I'm sure there are so many opportunities. Um, so if students are listening and they would like to find out more, where should they head? 
Uh, yeah, head to the Defence Jobs website. Uh, there's all the information that you need there. It tells you about all the different degrees and pathways you can do, uh, not only for Air Force, but for all three services. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Dan. It was uh, great to hear about your experience so far and uh, we appreciate your time. Cheers. Thank you.